rock things. Yes, and um, here's some of the ones that we've made. And what do we do with these rocks? I guess we'll show you after a bit when we're done painting. Okay. But these are these encouragement rocks, or I don't even know what they're called. But you might have seen them around at parks or in your neighborhood. But they're just like nice little messages that you give to people. So when they're walking along, they can see them. And so we're going to show you how you can make some of your own and decorate your neighborhood or your nearest park. So let's get started. Okay. What do we need? Okay, we need paint. Paint. And we're going to need Q-tips or paintbrushes. Right. And, and... Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> we need rocks. All right. Can't so we wanted to make rocks. these pretty simple for all ages to do. And there's really no wrong or right way to do these. Um, you just get your paint and paint on the rock, and when they're done, when they're set, if you want to, you can spray a coat of a finishing coat on them that gives them that, that glossy look and then also protects the paint too. So, um, the method that I think is easiest and it, and it looks kind of attractive without being too fancy, without having to be like super skilled at painting, which um, it's hard to paint letters and stuff like that. So we are recommending the Q-tip, what, dot method, we call it that if you like. Right, you just go dot, 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 You can put dots on them. So you're going to pick a word or a phrase and you know sort of your mantra kind of thing. Be strong, um, patience, love, hope, um, um, kindness. You can also like draw them down. You can also draw on them too. But like you want the little, yeah, because you want the, the cross or the heart just to be nice little reminder. So Esther, um, what are you going to put on yours? I'm going to put a cross and then put lots of dots around it. Okay, she's going to do the dot method with the cross. Kind of like we did that heart one like that on here. Um, and I am going to do the divine mercy message. Jesus, I trust in you. We're going to try that. And all of these we have painted or drawn on actually with the, the Q-tips. But I'm going to try the Sharpie, because that's sort of a longer message, and I don't think I can do it all with the Q-tip. So we'll try experimenting with that one and see how that one goes. So um, you want to, I painted it um, white first in the background. Many of these have the black in the background, it makes the colors really pop. And you want it to dry in between the coats, and what we recommend <laughs> What we recommend is that you have a hair dryer if you don't want to be patient and wait in between coats. So you can use a hair dryer, use the cool setting, and blow dry it in between, which I just did with this one here. Um, I don't know, it seems like it's, oh, it's still kind of wet. So I may go ahead and dry mine more. Esther, you want to show us what you're doing then while I'm drying this? Okay, so my cross is turning out well. I'm just drawing the line with the Q-tip. Hold on so you can see it some of the time. Okay, so my cross is doing nice, as you can see. And since I've outlined it, you don't have to outline it. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dots around the cross. And it's simple, like if you use a paintbrush, which is okay, it would be a little bit harder to make the dots. The dots won't be nice on the Q-tip. Right, so I'm doing my Q-tip. This, uh, I think if this were drier, it would be okay. So, if you're gonna do that, you might want to have dry. Yeah. multi-surface or they don't most of the acrylic paints will last pretty long outside without a coat of spray but after a while it does fade off so, so this will um, help it like, like so for instance really this one says for outdoor use 
So you can get the ones that are for outdoor use, and you don't absolutely have. Like if you're gonna make like a whole thing but yellow, the spray um, makes it look shiny too. So makes. So our next thing that we're going to do is put this spray on all of our rocks. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you to move back because this stuff's toxic. But this will put that nice shiny coat on them. Oh, it is okay. Well, how long will it take to that? I don't know, it's like an hour. So our rocks are sprayed and they're done, and now we're going to take them around the neighborhood and leave them for people to find. And so, I'm going to put... Wait, come on.